I'm Lauren, I'm one of the volunteers involved with the Joy of the Earth Community Garden here in Frankston. A lot's happened since we last spoke. We've got 20 garden plots that have all been built and planted and they're all blooming and producing huge amounts of um, vegetables. We've got about 30 members now who are actively gardening and, um, and eating a lot of zucchinis at the moment. Um, we're holding today our first community event or our first public event um, just to invite people from the local community uh, into the garden to see what it's all about. This is Leon here from Frankston TV and we're here at the George Street Community Garden. I would like to read a poem by Michael Lernig which truly portrays what a tree is all about because it's what we are all about too. This is the poem. God help us to rise up from our struggle like a tree rises up from the soil, our roots reaching down to our trouble, our rich dark dirt of existence finding nourishment deeply and holding us firmly, always connected, growing upwards and into the sun. My name's Jeanette Everest and I'm part of the Frankston Interfaith Network. The reason we got involved today with the Tree of Peace and the Sacred Blessing was just to show um, that there's different people in our community from different faiths, different beliefs, and we all have a vision of promoting peace and harmony within each other. The, the symbolisation of the olive tree is that we're planting new life into the earth and so it's putting its roots deep into the earth. So by inviting people from the community to actually share in that process, we're all contributing. It's a really good way of bringing community together in a really joyful spiritual way. Clay has got this magical medium about it that releases something from the inside of us. Because it's an earthy substance that's been dug up from the ground, it represents us on the inside. I guess it's a beautiful medium to work with. My name's Antoinette Benici and I live in Rosebud West. My husband and I, Ken, and myself have a uh, studio called the Mermaid's Tail Sculpture Studio. It's Leon here signing now and I might check out the vegetables first. So, see ya. Look at this beautiful cherry tomato.